hello welcome to my channel once again um today i am bringing you two videos two videos i am showing you two videos that um nigerians one is a nigerian citizen who has actually lived in um nigeria i would say almost all his life and he moved to ghana and he's currently living in ghana he gave us the differences his experience basically different differences between ghana and nigeria and i am also going to show you davido who is a nigerian artist davido who is a nigerian artist that also gave his um, opinion about the differences between ghana and nigeria so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel like the video you don't lose anything by liking the video so just like the video and comment anything that you want to comment if you have any differences that you think or wasn't mentioned in this video you can also do what share your opinion feel free let's go into the video i want to tell you the difference between nigeria and ghana but first of all i want to tell you this these two countries are very much corrupt you see these two countries when it comes to political leadership I'm not talking about individual. I know say individual are corrupt too, but when it comes to politics, these two countries are very much corrupt. So I want to tell you the difference between Nigeria and Ghana, because these two countries are very much close in friendship, both in politics and in business. They really love themselves. Maybe because the politicians are corrupt together. Maybe or something else like that. But what I want to tell you is that if we are Ghanaian, don't think that Nigeria is better than Ghana. Instead, Nigeria will be better than Ghana to live. Ghana is better than Nigeria when you want to find a place where you will live and relax. Now, let me come this way. Do you know that do you know that Nigeria doesn't have light? There's no electricity in Nigeria. If you have shop in Nigeria, you have your own generator. You buy generator for your house, you buy generator for your shop. You buy generator for your house, you buy for your office. You buy generator for your house, you buy for any place you want to use generator, you want to use light. But Ghana have light. You don't need to own generator in Ghana. Because sometimes once in a week or once in, in two weeks, they will take light to repair something, they will still bring it back. But Nigeria, you can live in Nigeria for 18 months, you will not have light. You can live in Nigeria for 12 months, you cannot have light depending on if your light is in your area. Eventually, if there is light at all, there's no way you can have light for 12 hours in Nigeria. How else you will have light? When you, when you hear never, uh, you know, say light, don't come. So, have you seen the difference in that area? So, Ghana is better than Nigeria when it comes to electricity. Ghana have electricity, Nigeria doesn't have electricity. You see the difference now? For you to think that going to Nigeria to live is more, more better than Ghana, something like that. Then when you come to the issue of security, Ghana has security more than Nigeria. Ghana is very peaceful. You can live in Ghana very peacefully. That's what you'll be hearing on a daily basis. So that is one of the major problems in Nigeria, insecurity, Boko Haram. All these insurgents, they fool everywhere, kidnappers, they fool everywhere in Nigeria. I'm not saying that there's no certain in Ghana. There's certain in Ghana, but not to the level of Nigeria. Nigeria is bigger in corruption more than Ghana. But Ghana is also corrupt. So, these two countries are corrupt when it comes to politics. Other countries of the world, they are selfish to develop their country. When they get from another people, they will come to develop their own country. But the problem we have in these two countries, I'm calling like Nigeria and Ghana, now the problem we have is that these politicians will take what is in the country to develop their own pocket. They will go and borrow from another country. They will come and share it. And, and they go and they also save it again in another country and start begging them to give them money on borrowing again. Do you see the difference? The two countries are working when it comes to politicians are not good. They are corrupt. So these two countries are almost the same thing. There are no two more different in these two countries. Then what, let's go to politics. When you come to politics, Nigeria has one party system. Now that Nigeria is being led by APC, it's one party system. Even if another party wants to come up, 
it, it will not be easy. Now, if one party wins, every other person will almost run to another party. Every other person will almost run to another party. Like now that is APC that is ruling Nigeria. All everybody will be sharing cross capacity from Senate, House of Representatives, Governors, House of Assembly, all of them will be cross capacity cross capacity cross capacity to another to the, the other party to join them and be with them. You see it. But when you come to Ghana, at least you have NDC and MPP. Uh, 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 what is it? New Patriotic Party. That is MPP. The New Patriotic Party is in government now. But you, you will, I never hear that somebody from the House of, uh, the, the, um, the House of, uh, this thing, the House of uh, Assembly, cross from there to, from NDC to MPP. I never hear such thing. The two parties are very, very strong. It doesn't mean that there are no other parties. There are other parties on board. But you will hardly hear that this person cross from this party to another party. So it will make it easy for, if this party wins, it, it, it will be easy to keep the record that they win. But in Nigeria, once one party almost dominates the whole thing. So you see the difference between Nigeria and Ghana. They have the difference in security, electricity, and now politics. Their politics, system of politics, Ghanaian system of politics is stronger than that of Nigeria. Because Nigeria own everybody need money. Everybody need power and money. I'm not saying that Ghanaians didn't need power and money. They need it too. They are also big, get big eyes like that of Nigeria. But the difference is this. They stick to the party they are, they, they are into. But Nigerians politicians don't have party. Once this side they win, ah, they don't rush to that side. That's how they do. But in Ghana here, once one party win, the idea, the other people will be preparing themselves for another election. I'm not a politician, nothing concerns me. I'm only a businessman and a content creator. That is what is my work. But I just want to tell you the difference between Nigeria and Ghana. If you are a Ghanaian, this is the difference. When it comes to road, road is not good in Nigeria. Road is not good in Ghana. Most of the places, there is no good road in Ghana. The center in Nigeria, there is no good road. Things that all many sectors that should have been developed since the, our colonial masters left, none of them has been developed because the people who claim to be leading the two countries. Why I want to make talk about these two countries is because these two countries are in Western Africa and they love themselves. And the people in the countries in the West Africa are looking on to them because these two countries have resources. Nigeria have oil in abundance and many other mineral resources. Ghana have gold in abundance. They have oil. They have all these things in abundance, but at the end of the day, nothing to show for it. But at least, Ghana's government is trying in the issue of light. They still have water. They still have water. There is no water in Nigeria. If you need water, you drink borehole. That is what you will use. But here, there is, uh, uh, there is pipe on water. At least for some people, they will get pipe on water. So you see the difference. There is no too much big difference. But at least that light, that issue of electricity is very, very big. And their political uh, uh, this thing is how some has stable than that of Nigeria. Nigeria only is not stable. It shakes. None of them is in one party. If, if there is another party that come out now, it's worked strongly. Every other person in Nigeria will run into that party. That is how this thing is structured. So you see the difference now. So you have to choose. If you want you are a Ghana and you want to go to Nigeria, check this one. I'm telling you, there is no road the way it is in Nigeria in Ghana. Then there is no road in Ghana. There are bad roads, there are good ones. The same thing in Nigeria. So, and the, the security aspect of it, Ghana has security more than Nigeria. That is all for now. You've been, you've been to Ghana? I've been to Ghana a few yeah, times. Yeah, I have not been to Lagos. Like, I know, I know. Remember, but, we were supposed to do the whole meeting Ghana yeah, yeah, and then go see, and then, yeah. Let me, the, the difference of Nigeria and Ghana, let me just explain how Nigeria and Ghana. Nigeria is New York. Yes. Ghana is... Miami, maybe? Uh, it's, it's calm. Good. What's worse, calm and nice? Maybe like well, not in America. So maybe like <laughs> yeah, California. Maybe I say California, I, I'll say Cali. Yeah. I'll say Ghana's like Cali. So what happens is that you know people tend to go to Ghana more because it's kind of less people. There's more space. It's more vacation. It's more vacation. But you trying to like sure eat everything in one. You want to see the bad parts, the great parts, the everything. You go to Lagos and all the cultures. Lagos. All everything the is in that Lagos. Everything. Do you understand? So, <laughs> if you can survive in Lagos, you can survive anywhere.
That's why most of them from Lagos, they come straight to New York. You know what I'm saying? They blend in. Ignorant question. Uh, is Lagos near water also? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so it has beaches too? Of course. So it's got everything. We got beaches. We got um, islands. You know, take the boat. Beautiful. It was uh, Victoria Island. Victoria yeah. Island. Banana Island. Kui. Crazy. We, we now like crazy structures going up. Penthouses. Oh, so it's a lot of be a lot of condos. A lot of condos. They doing something I just bought a water. penthouse. Crazy. You think you in Miami? Big. Crazy. So it experience it. You. Be All right. So you see, this these are the opinions of some Nigerians or Nigerians who have actually experienced both countries. So thank you so much for watching the video. I thank you so much.